forgot my bookmark. Hey man, what you reading? I'll never know. Alright, well, if you got a minute, I could use some input on a script I'm writing. Oh yeah, uh, what, uh, what are you writing? What kind of movie is it? Think a superhero movie. You know, I love those, they're really hot right now. Love Marvel, not DC. Stop trying. You know, that tracks. Uh, so awesome, uh, what's the angle? What's the angle with it? Well, I wanted to make the characters have powers that were unique. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, so like, what if like the character like does damage with fire, but instead of like shooting out fire, it like creates an area of fire that like it can grow and like shrink to like deal the damage it does out in different ways? And then like, maybe the thing doesn't want to destroy the world, it wants to destroy the world's government, because that's like total anarchy, man. Oh my god, I love this. What do you think? Yeah, no, that's, that's not at all what I was thinking. Take a look at these. My notes. What are we looking at here? Those are my ideas. What's so confusing? I feel like they mostly explain themselves, but if you need clarification, I can provide it. Okay, this, uh, this one about roaches. It says the villain creates roaches, but they only release them into their living spaces? Why, why? Does, does it like grow and uh, kill them? D can they track and like speak through the roaches? I, no. God, no. The villain just releases it so it's all over the person's stuff. They constantly have to clean. You ever had to clean up after roaches? They hire exterminator after exterminator and they just never go away. Eventually they're gonna want to move. Or if they're in an apartment, good luck getting their deposit back. So the villain's trying to ruin their lives? Yeah, not really. They just got cut off in traffic and given the finger on the wrong day. That's the villain's motivation? Petty revenge? That's like a really weirdly detailed and thought out plan for that outcome. What, are you telling me a villain's never used his powers for petty revenge? Like Magneto's never stolen someone's keys out of their pocket and threw them away because they said his helmet was stupid? Well, I'm sure that's possible. Isn't it? X-Men 445, Zack! Okay, well, I'll look that up later, but it doesn't seem like a good movie, and it seems like a waste of their powers. Nonsense! This is using their powers efficiently and uniquely, right? <sighs> Whatever. Okay, what about this one about distracting light? W what the hell does that even mean? Why not just blinding light? What the, what the hell is distracting light? I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, the hero can intensify light to a brightness that kind of catches your eye, you know? It's always in the corner of your eye. It's over here, now it's over here, and soon it's all you can focus on. And it leaves those little shadows on the back of your eyelids. I see how that can be effective, but how is that a good movie? All right, here's a scenario. There's been a robbery. Get the money, let's go. Here, I can be good ass. Nothing, there's nothing. Get any weird light? You've seen it. I can't tell where it's. What the Bam! Car accident! All the robbers are dead, splattered across the road, the driver's sticking at the windshield, they weren't wearing seatbelts, glass shards in their face. Then the last thing he sees, as he gasps his final, tortured breath, is a light go across the corner of his eye. Before the eternal darkness takes him. How, how's that? What the fuck? The hero just, the hero just brutally murders people for robbery? Oh well, yeah, I mean, it could be something more serious. Kidnapping works just as well. Why is the hero killing people? I mean, superheroes kill people all the time. Batman's killed tons of people. Think of all the brain injuries he's caused from throwing batarangs at people. Those things stick out of brick, and you're telling me they don't kill somebody? No. And even if they do survive by the time it's over, they're gonna wish they were dead, because either they have horrible trauma, or they have awful medical bills. <sighs> Mason, why is this page use the word gun in different creative fonts? What is that? What is that? Okay, well, as you know, Zach, the gun is a no, 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 Mason, you can't just say gun is a superpower. Cute. But are they or are they not effective in stopping criminals by killing them? Yeah, but that doesn't make for a good superhero movie. Except for twice. 
You can't just have him go grab a gun and go to Applebee's, which is exactly what this page says. Who is Tyler? Okay, you know what? That's cute. That's great. That's fun. Fuck! You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna watch them on TV. I'm tired of this. Fine. Fine. Be a dick about it. Whatever. We now return you to friends. In this episode, Joey eats a big sandwich, and he doesn't want to share. That's classic. Hey, Joey, can I have some of your sandwich? Joey doesn't share food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that, Joey, but I'm starving, and you, you, 